Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around Beach House Park. This is Beach House. This was a, a large manor house or mansion house built here back in the 1820s. As you can imagine back in the 1820s swimming pool. So uh, the park I'm going to take to you to is across the road and uh, contains a war memorial to pigeons uh, that were fighting in World War II or were used in the fighting for World War II. Um, these grounds belonged to this large house um, but was sold off in 1922 and then converted to a park in 1924. Uh, this area is most uh, famously made in the film Wish You Were Here, um, made back in the 1980s. And uh, the park itself is used for, or was used for, the National Bowling Championship. direction and take you through some of the other gardens. As you can see, spring is just starting to uh, come out in Worthing. There's not a lot of history online, but I would imagine these would have been part of the Manor House Gardens, but uh, also could have been installed by the uh, park back in the 1920s. Probably look better on a uh, sunny day, but I'll control the weather. So just down there is uh, a crazy golf uh, pitching green. Uh, so I seem to remember this used to be a pond, which has been filled in for safety reasons, I guess. Get noisy here, but we're going to uh, pop over there and enter Beach House Park. So we have another war memorial here. It's uh, amazing having the memorial in here for the pigeons. It's, it's, it's very strange that it has a very large pigeon population, um, almost as if, as if they, uh, you know, the memorial is here. Pretty much every time I've been to this park, uh, you'll find a large group of pigeons. Getting fed. Um, 
I've not seen them anywhere else in any of the other parks um, and they seem to be holding out because as you can see they've got uh, seagulls to uh, do battle with and the seagulls are a lot more aggressive and a lot bigger than the pigeon. say this is one of uh, Worthing's better parks or better kept parks. Um, some of the others could just be a sort of patch of grass for walking your dogs on but it's got a good selection of trees here. And a uh, new memorial here to Battle of Boar's Head. Another little plaque there explaining looks like it was in Calais so, uh, this uh, centre section of the park as I remember it didn't used to be fenced off Smell of vision, but uh, some wonderful scents will be coming off these, uh, these flowers here. So, this is the bit that you used to be able to walk through, and uh, as, a, as a child, it was uh, an amazing maze through some trees. to the pigeons. So basically they're just uh, a memory for the pigeons that were used for communication purposes uh, in World War II and gave their lives to uh, help us win the war. And, uh, yeah, a little pigeon sitting in the back there. So uh, they obviously like the memorials. It might be they've um, fence this off to stop people and give the give the area back to the pigeons but like I said as a as a child it was quite nice to be able to sort of go up. Looks like there's also a uh, couple of memorials in the actual centre. again. If we head off in this direction there's another section of the park I mentioned earlier that it was used for the National Bowling Championship and this is the area that they used for it. Uh, this is the area that was featured in the film 
push you here. So these uh, sections here and here don't seem to make a lot of sense today because they're just uh, stood bare with a couple of uh, outdoor chessboards on. However, this is where the stands would be so that people could watch the uh, games of bowls going on. By the looks of things, that one's not being used anymore because comparing the surface of that one to this one, this one still looks like it's being cared for. It's the one over there. It's just uh, you've got weeds and uh, grass all over it. I don't think you can roll a ball over that. when you just walk a couple of hundred feet away from the busy road how much more peaceful the park is you can hear the bird song here right down here we have the pavilion which has been dressed up in a mock Tudor star and is now a cafe. As you can see, still set up for winter with the uh, tents outside. Uh, warm. So here we have the bug garden. So a section of the park that's put to one side so that bugs can uh, grow in it, or live in it rather. More information over there, so if you've got children and you'll bring them to this park, this would be the bit that they would probably be most interested in. And a uh, little Benchings in a sort of uh, domed weave of plants, quite interesting. So, just coming to the, the north end of it, there's not much more left of the park. In the background, you'll see uh, Worthing Hospital. Most people coming to Worthing will probably recognise this part of the park because they'll be parking in one of these car parks. So uh, I'm going to head back to the car now, just like to say thanks for watching, I hope this video has been uh, useful, if you could like and subscribe it will be to make more videos and uh, look more decent on the car.
car. Thanks for watching.